guys, real quick video. I uh, wanted to show you what I'm doing for my transmission lines. Uh, from my factory radiator down to the 4060E transmission. I uh, wanted to fill you in on all the fittings, the hose, the install, everything. Uh, hopefully the battery won't run out on my phone. I can get through all this stuff and be good. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I've got a factory radiator here. This is a three core. Uh, it came out of a, I believe, a K20 or K30 uh, Chevrolet truck. Uh, it is for the 454 three core radiator. It's big. Uh, it's the brass copper one, not the aluminum with the plastic ends on it or whatever. Uh, it has a built in transmission cooler. And those fittings, guys, since you've probably looked all over the internet just like I did, you can't find the size or uh, nobody tells what they are. The, the fittings uh, inlets that go on the radiator transmission cooler, they are one half by 20 inverted flare. Uh, they're considered a 5 16 uh, tube line or whatever, but if you're looking for an aftermarket fitting uh, to go to a dash six or whatever AN like I'm doing, uh, I'm gonna give you the numbers here, guys. So uh, with those, I, I'm gonna run my six AN line down to the transmission. It's a 4060E. Uh, I've got the fittings that go into that also. I'll give you all those numbers. Uh, so with that, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, the fittings coming out of the radiator, guys, the half by 20 inverted flare, 5 16 into a dash 6 AN is uh, 640331. And that's a Russell fitting. Uh, Russell makes a lot of those different fittings and stuff, adapters, things like that. The, uh, the lines that come out of the transmission. Uh, it's the 4060E. Again, those, those lines, guys, are the NPS lines, uh, not the NPT. NPT is tapered, NPS is straight. Okay, you want the NPS fittings when you're buying these. Uh, those are 1 quarter 18 NPS lines. Uh, Earl's has the adapters with the little crush rings. The number on those are 940-006-ERL. Uh, you're gonna need to get them if you're gonna run different lines on your transmission besides the ones that push in and they've got the little C-ring clip or whatever, you know, so. Uh, those are going my transmission. I'm just using a Summit straight uh, dash 6AN hose end. Uh, the number on that is gonna be a SUM-220690. Uh, That'll cover everything, guys. I got two of each, two of the Russell fittings, uh, two of the Earl's fittings, and uh, four of the hose ends. So with that, guys, I'm gonna get to the install part of it, whatever, and uh, try to get this whole video and everything knocked out tonight. Okay, guys, it's a little dark in here, but uh, you can see uh, there's my upper fitting, there's my lower fitting. Um, again, those are the Russell fittings, one half dash 20 inverted flares. Um, I'm going to run those. Those go dash 6 AN, and they're going to run down the frame rail to the uh, transmission. All right, guys, kind of hard to see. Uh, I put this up here so that I could measure to see how long these need to be so I can cut them. Uh, this is my straight fitting. Uh, I'm going to order some 90s to come off of both of these. Uh, to get that closer to that radiator so it's not coming out here and curving around. That's kind of sloppy looking guys, not really the look I'm going for. So take this into consideration when you're ordering these uh, fittings, the hose ends. Uh, you probably want to do the same thing. You probably want to go with some 90s or some 45s to angle that down so you don't have all this extra hose out here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it together like it is because I already have the fittings and I'll go ahead and order some more of the 90s and uh, probably going to add just a few inches of line that way when I take this off if it frays I have a little bit that I can cut back into to put a new fitting on it uh, let's get to the cutting I've had a few people ask me to cover this again uh, cutting the braided fuel line I talked to some old race car buddies that I work with uh, they said use a hacksaw um, not to dispel anything that they told me but I just tried a hacksaw uh, kind of a rough looking cut guys so I'm going to use my Klein snips and I'm going to show you what I do to try to cut this line. Now granted I've got this uh, 
electrical tape here tight, uh, real tight, wrapped around that. Uh, with these here, I'm gonna try to make a couple different cuts. You wanna go in just enough till you hear it start crunching. Make sure you line straight. A little bit there, a little bit there. You're gonna work your way around this line. I had done it in a previous video when I was doing the fuel line. It didn't quite work out as I had hoped. But you're gonna work around this line, guys, till you can get a good cut. Now granted, that ain't perfect, but before I've taken the tape off of it, you see uh, it's still pretty tight. I'll hold this other one up here, uh, get them in the camera there. There's the difference, guys. That's with the uh, Klein cutters on this side, the cable cutters. This is with a hacksaw. Uh, I'm gonna unwrap the tape and we'll take a look at it. I hope. There we go. All right, guys, tape is off. Uh, I hope you can see that. That's not flared up at the end. Looks really good. So that's the best way that I found to cut that. There's no debris down inside like there was with the hacksaw. I can pull the end off of this, but we know it's gonna look like crap. So there's your difference, guys. Get you some Klein cable cutters and cut your braided steel line. Make your rounds around it just like I just did. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see the difference. All right, back to it. All right, guys, this part here is for True Dead Man on YouTube. Uh, he had a question about how these fittings went on and went together. Uh, so I'm going to try to cover that now. You got the, uh, these are the Summit brand fittings. The reason these are red and blue is because I guess I ordered the wrong ones. So I'm putting these on the transmission end where they can't be seen. But this will go up into the hose. This is threaded along here. Uh, this is threaded inside the small hole. On the other side, it's got... A little bit of a big thread uh, probably can't see it maybe just a little bit but that's threaded inside there guys so that when you stick it on the end of that you can kind of screw it on and it'll cinch down on top of that uh, we're gonna do that now so uh, you want to make sure your your hose in is not all frayed and stuff this this turned out really good with the Klein cable cutters uh, so we're gonna take and stick that on there you want to apply, apply some pressure while you're pushing it down, guys. Get it on there good. I doubt this camera will pick this up. Maybe if I can turn around here in the light. You can see that, that hose down in there, guys. You want that to sit up there flush until it stops. Push that hose in there and uh, push that hose in there and twist it down. Twist that fitting end on there until it stops at the bottom of those fine threads right there. Okay, and what you want to do to make sure that you don't, uh, this here doesn't push that hose back out, spray some WD-40 or some kind of lubricant inside there and on the end of this, okay? Uh, in doing that, you're going to lube that stuff up. It's kind of hard to do with just one pair of hands, but. So you got got it lubed up a little bit so it'll slide down in the inside of that hose. You want to try to hold this without greasy hands. <laughs> <laughs> grab a hold to this try to hold that fitting on there as well while you put this in there and get it started you want to try to get that in there and get it started without pushing that hose out okay you want to hold this with with your hand back here and with your fingers there so that when you're screwing this in you'll be able to feel this if it's pulling that off okay uh, it's going to pull it just a little bit when it first gets going but you can take off with it guys squeeze it in there try to screw it in there with your hands as much as possible uh, that way you know it's holding on it's doing what it's supposed to be doing uh, the big end on the hose side is a three-quarter sorry about that bump the other side is an 11 16 and still while you're tightening this down guys try to hold on to it so that you know if it's pulling it off of that end of that hose uh, once you get it on there, there's really no way to tell. You're just going to sit here and do this until it gets good and snug. You don't want to over tighten these guys. You'll bust this cap, this red cap here. If you get that too tight, you're going to break it. Uh, but you do want to get it good and snug. 
kind of hard to hold all this stuff and everything here but you'll feel it kind of stop once it stops guys that's it leave it where it's at you don't want to over tighten these you break that and it's no good guys good and tight so uh we'll get back to the rest of the install hey guys real quick uh i had showed you how this came off the radiator uh, it wasn't a real clean look so i went ahead and ordered some of the 90s these are also summit brand i'm just going to show you right quick how to change those out you're going to take and undo the fitting that you've already put on If I can do this on camera. Screwing this out, guys. Uh, pretty easy. I'm going to take this out. Pulled it out. These are reusable. You just want to look down in your hole to make sure that your hose is still up to the edge, probably push it down just a little bit, pull your fitting end so you don't have to recut this and try to get past the whole braided line thing. You're just going to take that off of your new fitting, leave that piece on your hose, and of course you want to spray it with a WD-40 and just stick it right back in just like before. Hold on to the piece that's on the hose while you're getting this started and this is a swivel end by the way so uh, we'll be good there do that tighten it up now I guess that's a three-quarter also anyway guys you get the point I'm gonna have to run over and grab another wrench but uh Stick it back on there, tighten it up just like the other, and you've got a new fitting in. Real quick, guys, these are the transmission fluid fittings, or transmission fittings for the 4060. Uh, not going to show you installing these, maybe an after shot, because you can't see anything up under there anyway. Here's the old ones with the clip style. Here's the new ones going to the Dash 6. Uh, they've got a crush washer on there. I went ahead and put some uh, thread tape just to be sure. When you take these out, guys, you need to double check. Make sure your threads are the same. Make sure everything is good. You can set them on top of each other and look at them. Clean these up. Do what you got to do to make sure you got the right stuff before you start trying to put this in your transmission. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Stick these in there, and then I'll run my line to them. All right, guys. wanted to show you the finished product. There's the lines going into the transmission. Bear with me as I move this along here. Runs down along the frame rail. I got one of my holders on it. Goes up in between the cross member for the engine mount. Back around to the top. Crawl out from under here and I'll show you what I got under there, up there. You can see guys, it comes just over the top of the frame, up into the radiator transmission cooler. Tried to keep it clean, tried to keep it simple. Uh, my radiator hose will actually go in between both of them on the bottom and come up to my water neck. But uh, not bad, I may move these around just a little bit, but uh, I'm happy with it. Looks pretty good, looks clean. So uh, with that guys, we'll cut the video. Hope you enjoy it.